What's up everybody? We are back in my studio today and you know what? It's cold. I'm wearing like three layers right now. Let's not even get into it. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a trend that I kind of think is a little weird and I think the name is just outright not that cool, you know, especially if you're gonna be asking for this on your head, like it's just kind of weird. But after doing a little bit of research and me living as long as I have, you know, again, dinosaurs roaming the earth and man, my skin still looks good, you know what I mean? Anyways, let's get right to it. The trend we're gonna be talking about is this new haircutting trend called the octopus haircut. I know, it's weird, man. It's just kind of weird, right? But you know what? Without further ado, let's get into the video and I'm gonna get into all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so one of the things about the octopus haircut, well, number one, like they're comparing this online and this is just everything I read about the Rachel haircut. So if you ever watched Friends back in the day, you know what, actually I'm gonna share a little something here with you. My wife and I, we, um, we've been putting on Friends reruns on HBO, but the funny thing about it, like I love that show. I'm a kind of a Seinfeld guy, like it's just kind of fun comedy. But the funny thing about the Rachel trend is that they're just comparing this haircut, the octopus haircut, to the Rachel trend. And I'm gonna break this down for you guys really super simple today. So if you're wanting to follow like a super trend like that, and again, the difference between what I've seen of the US version, because we are in the USA right now, versus where it originated from in Asia, the Asia version is a little bit more tentacle when I say that, and I mean that because you know, when you when you really consider what's going on with like that octopus trend, which is again like the, the Rachel haircut, is really all it is is you've got all these round layers that are shagged out towards the top, and then you've got the hair at the bottom that kind of flips out. Okay. Now this hair that kind of flips out towards the bottom is what would essentially resemble like tentacles. I mean, again, don't quote me on this, it's just weird. I didn't make it up, yada yada yada. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this haircut down for you guys in this, you know, the version that I've seen. And so it's gonna be super simple if this is something that you're going for. So without further ado, guys, let's get the haircutting started. Let's do this. We wanna actually have some layers and we wanna actually have some fringe. So I'm gonna be going about four and a half, five inches throughout this length right through here. Now I'm gonna be following the round of the head, okay? Now I want to follow the round of the head because we are gonna be having almost kind of a, we're gonna be having some fringe in the front, which is gonna kind of resemble a fringe that you can actually push to the side, which essentially would be kind of like a curtain fringe or just something that is gonna hang in the front that you can kind of push to the side, okay? Now I'm gonna take this, keep this mohawk section going. Okay, now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking that section right below there. Now I'm just gonna be connecting all of these points right through here. So hold this out just a little bit like that. Cut some of this hair off. Hold this out here just like that. And you can actually see my guide just like that. And I'm gonna continue doing this all the way down, okay? The one thing you guys gotta keep in mind is that this haircut is going to be layered around the face. Now, the way that I'm actually layering this by going section, section, section like that, and then I took this section like this and I'm holding this up, is that if you're actually layering your hair and you're rounding it out like this, you will, no matter what, you will have those layers right around your face. And so we're just gonna be following the head shape. And so we follow this head shape, everything is 90 degrees out from the head, okay? Now, the other thing you guys wanna keep in mind is that when you're doing a traditional mullet, because again, this would essentially kinda of have like that same very similar shape as like a shag mullet, but you know, with a mullet, you're gonna have more disconnection 
than you are um, with this. Like this is gonna be a lot more blended to the actual lengths underneath, okay? Okay, now I'm going to be starting on her left side. the thing guys that I actually have noticed about this trend is that you can actually keep this trend a lot longer and you can actually make this this trend a lot shorter it really doesn't matter I've seen it on wave I've seen it on curl you know what I mean like a majority of the people are most likely going to be blowing blow drying this out using some sort of round brush to create volume and lift you're going to get that curve you're going to get that that thing that's kind of happening in that to create that roundness and then that kind of curve up back through here so really at the end of the day guys there's so many versatile ways on actually how to do this i'm kind of speaking my age right here but when they uh when they mention the rachel from friends i'm like yeah i know exactly what's going on here and i mean there was like that that haircut was really big back in the day you know and i mean again it still had a very feminine name to it you know i mean again it's I'm just not really a big fan of something that is going to call something like an octopus. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's just not me. I didn't name this, so don't shoot the messenger here. But it's so funny, you know, th this, this is me calling the kettle black here. One of the things, guys, is that, you know, we have saw, we saw last year with one of the biggest trends happening, like the wolf haircut. What is it? It's a shag and a mullet combination. Literally, that's what it is. People are just kind of making up these new like words and they're giving it a, like a, a new little twist, but essentially it is a shag, you know? Uh, again, don't shoot the messenger, but when you start to see these trends, you start to see these things kind of evolve and it's like almost like every 20 years, you know, things are gonna start to come back. They're gonna recycle, but they're gonna come back with a new like something to it. So anybody that's been around on this planet as long as I have, you know, you're gonna know, you're like, yep, exactly. The problem that I have, this is me going off on my TED talk here. The problem I, I have is that it creates confusion. Now, when somebody comes in and says, I want this, per se, what this is about, a lot of hairdressers are gonna be like, what is that? They don't even know what that, they, they're gonna be like, uh, what? But if you're gonna come in and say, hey, give me like a shag, give me the Rachel haircut, they're gonna be like, boom, I know exactly what you want. So. Again, from the, from the hairdressers that are older, do a little research on kind of what things are called, but you'll know exactly what it is. It's like, you know, we don't have to adapt to this new kind of way of things, but at the end of the day, guys, like, you know, fashion just recycles, it just recycles. So let's get back into the cutting and uh, let's finish this off. So as you guys can kind of see right here, what's happening with the wet style is that, let's just kind of break this down really quick and then I'm gonna style this for you. So the thing you're actually kind of starting to see is that you're gonna have volume up through this area. You're gonna have almost like, cause I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna round brush this, blow this out. You know, we're gonna kind of blow this kind of away from the face. We're gonna have some volume through here and they're really gonna kind of kick out these ends down through here. So you're gonna have this kind of happening, lots of volume. Let's go ahead and get this dry. Let's do this. So as you get done, as you can see, like I use a round brush to create some volume, some lift and some curve at the same time. And so when you are doing this, right, one of the things that's gonna make this so interesting is that we're gonna have a little bit of this fringe, okay, happening in here that you can actually kind of push to the side. You can really push this from left to right to any which direction. The thing which you wanna really notice about this that's very, very similar to kind of like the Rachel haircut is that you've got, you know, a lot of this layer kind of happening in this area. Because again, this is really where all the round layers are hitting. Now the thing that you wanna think about, like to, to kind of make this a little bit more different from like the Asian culture versus from, you know, the American that like their kind of version is that they're probably gonna have like these lengths down through here, even a little bit longer looking more kind of tentacle-ish. That's really where the name kind of came from 
when you think about the whole kind of like octopus name, right? What I'm starting to see a little bit more in like the American version is that this is like not as long down through here. Now, if you were to go down through here and you were to kind of kick this up with your fingers and you create more of a flip to it, you know, you're gonna see a very strong resemblance between this and the Rachel haircut. So really at the end of the day, guys, the difference between the two is that you're essentially going to have, this is just kind of like a, a modern twist to kind of like that Rachel haircut. Don't be super confused by the octopus because it's such a confusing thing. When I was looking it up, I was just like, what is this? How is this gonna look? Is it kind of slimy? And does it have like, you know, a little sucker? No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. But the whole point guys is that I am just hoping to educate you guys just a little bit on what are some of the trends happening in 2022. Guys, my name is Jake Thompson Hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed just the knowledge in general. I appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you are, go ahead and like it, comment, all that good stuff. Guys, it is just a pleasure to do this. Thanks so much. Octopus checking out!